I V M. IVM Likes is an IVM production and if you like cool nerdy discussions about pop culture and more then do check out Geek Fruit it's where all the nerds of the town come together and they sit and chat about sci-fi comic books and TV shows and movies it's a whole lot of fun so do check out Geek Fruit on the IVM podcast app or wherever you listen to podcasts Hello and welcome to IVM Likes guys my name is Naveen Narona and we're all excited because it's the season of love hey. all right so it's the valentines week when this uh, episode is coming out so for that we will be talking about the perfect make out playlist that you can uh, jam to or make out to this valentines uh, if you have a valentine if not then your pillow should suffice but in the meanwhile we have a round of recommendations as usual but before that let me introduce my co-hosts on the show there are three wonderful women surrounded uh, on all three sides Aww. starting from my left is janam say hi janam hi janam <laughs> <laughs> hi kavita hi kavita and hi priyanka hi priyanka nice hi navin and uh, so let's start with the recommendations guys uh, who wants to go first navin you tell us Why? No, I want to hear it from you. Like, yeah. Have all these chops. What? With because all the right recommendations, doing like, all the right things, and thematic, and all of that. The fact is that I haven't watched anything else or read anything else. As I keep mentioning, uh, it's the third week running where I finally caught up with all of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, Drag Race! Which, which means drag uh, I've watched drag like race. that's l- all our listeners are hearing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like they are literally a part of my life. It's like I've I've like eleven seasons in, and now is like the third All Star season is running, so I'm caught up with it finally. Eleven so seasons in two weeks. Yeah. You watch eleven wow. seasons in two weeks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if you see the camera footage, Kavita, I know. That's all he's I watching. only. I don't need camera footage. I sit right behind. Him, so I know exactly what he's well. up to. But in the middle of it all, I could. Uh, I had to interview somebody for my podcast, keeping it queer. Right. And I watched uh, a short film called uh, "The Guy Next Door" by Pradeep Tare. Okay. Uh, she's a transgender filmmaker who's very uh, vocal about her, uh, you know, cinema with being, you know, uh, in the, the queer space. Uh, but this is a horror short film. With two queer characters. Okay. Yeah, and it's like okay. rather unheard of, right? And right. Uh, so, so the movie can be found on Vimeo. I think that's the only link you have, and you can contact Pradipta if you want to reach out. She has a page on Facebook as well, and uh, the movie is about this one guy who's finding a guy online uh, to hook up with, and uh, he starts chatting with this guy and gets gets. Really like chatty with him, and in the middle of it, he's like, you know, why don't I come over? So he's like, where are you? He's like, I'm, I'm right outside your house. And from there, it's like a kind of you know goes into a it creepy is, zone. Wow, next wow. level stalker. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's a fun uh, horror mystery short film. Check it out. It's called The Guy Next Door by Pradeep Tare, and it's also stars two of my good friends. So it's like nice, like you know, I can recommend something that I who is this? Really enjoyed. So Sheldon. My good friend from school, who we both grew, grew up and found out we are gay, <laughs> so weird. And uh, Aditya Joshi as well, who was also on my podcast. So, so are these the two protagonists? Yeah, okay. the only two characters in the film. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. When was this film out? How so new or old? Is I think it's two thousand fifteen when the movie came out. I was there okay. for the initial launch, which happened at Hive in Bandra. And uh, I had caught the movie back then as well, but I caught only glimpses of it. So I finally sat down to research probably. So I really enjoyed the the thematic and and uh, the way it's done also. It's a large empty house in Bombay. You know, you feel nostalgia as well as petrified that that Creepy. could have yeah that could happen to you sort of. Okay. So yeah, check it out, Janam. So I am recommending this YouTube channel. It's called Aaron's Animals, and uh, you can also find his videos on. Aaron as in he has an Aaron. You can find his videos on his Facebook page also. So basically, if this is a uh, for people who love watching cat videos, so if you love watching cat videos, this is like the bap of all cat videos. I don't get cat videos, guys. <laughs> this is the bap of it. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so wow. th- this is actually a very elaborate. This guy puts in extreme amount of effort. He plans out this whole like plot. He'll he'll probably script his thing. I don't know. So Are these his pet cats. Yeah, his pet cats. So the Extremely main. Extremely well trained. I mean. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So the main yeah. character of his most of his videos are, is this. Uh, his pet is called Prince Michael. It's oh a yeah, British, I saw you watching this now. Yeah. <laughs> you check the camera for Janam's angle. You see her <laughs> watching these cat, cat videos. videos. Yeah. Wow. The yeah. diversity and in this office. office. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this uh, Prince Michael is this British short hair, grey colour, chubby cat, <laughs> and uh, he has other animals as well. There are like dogs and cats. and other feline people so <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, like he he puts in so much effort into these videos. It's it's very funny, very very entertaining. It's like I, I would say it's amongst the top things I see on the internet, honestly. Oh wow! So check Let's it out. Let's check it's, some cats it's, out. It's super after entertaining, this. super funny, super cute. He makes stories out of them. Right? He, yeah, he makes the cats interact and yeah, it's a weird so, yeah voiceover thing. It's, nice. it's, it's, it's not voiceover. It's just uh, so the cats just like meow and do these weird sounds. <laughs> But it's the the whole direction is so well played out. It's mm. just beautiful. I, I like I would just just for his sheer effort, I would say watch it. Cool. Oh, Aaron's animal yeah. on YouTube. Great. Cool. Next up is Kavita. Okay, so I love dessert, and I <laughs> obviously follow a lot of uh, Instagram accounts that are either talking about dessert, showcasing dessert, and so today I'm going to recommend one of my favorite Instagram accounts. It's called Deserted in Paris. Uh, obviously, this pastry chef based out of Paris uh, also collaborates with many other bakers and you mm. know put, uh, patisserie owners uh, from around there. The best thing about this is it kind of puts two of my favorite things together in an image. one of of course the image of uh, the dessert and they collaborate with shoemakers to get like the best coordinated shoe to kind of photograph the dessert and the shoe together oh. so if so you see all the images yeah yeah absolutely okay. so they're doing like a varied like range of dessert and some really really cool shoes <laughs> wow. and yeah and that's just one of those things is like yeah. wow i would have never thought that but yeah. really I, when you look through this they obviously are extremely popular on instagram but mm. if you see some of their posts some of those creations are outstanding some of those shoe designs are crazy i think they even man is to get them like colorfully coordinated so if it's like maybe you know a, a charcoal like macaron or something like that which is probably gray in color they've got like gray shoes to go with it it's just like something really really special Who so go check thunk? this out sorry yeah. hold of thunk is hold of thunk exactly right <laughs> so as many instagram i mean dessert instagram uh, you know accounts that i follow this one is really unique yeah. so every so single image is every paired with a shoe, shoe. Yes. yeah so yeah. you don't wow. see any 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 faces nothing it's really the dessert and the mm. and they tag the shoe account as well yes. so you know where to get those shoes yes, from you know where wow. to get those shoes chefs from. and like you know unique food creators hmm. uh, like instagram is the place for them to be Absolutely. because they're yeah. visually yeah. great right yeah. like I'm watching this one chef from turkey who does all this like you know slow mo shots with fire and everything and then like he basically braises meat inside like some some pit so he takes a big uh, rod and like you know bangs the thing open and it's like very dramatic that's what <laughs> she I, said <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly and, and like, the, that's what she said jokes are back they always yeah. Yeah. this is the first i think this episode will have a lot of them since we're going to discuss yeah, yeah. yeah. moving yeah. on very quickly <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's move to Priyanka. So I am. <laughs> thanks for the awkward moment. Okay. So my recommendation is uh, Muramba, a 2017 film, and which there's a lot of noise about it because of uh, Mithila Palkar and. Uh, uh, oh, she's in it. Yeah, yeah, and okay. Sachin um, Kerekar. Mm. Uh, we've been watching him and all these ZTV, uh, also really soaps. old Marathi actors, yeah, so yeah. Really kind of features in almost there, yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it also sort of makes sense because we are doing this uh, 14th Feb uh, well, makeout list, yeah. right? It's not there yet, but it's just uh, they talk about breakups and relationships and how um, this couple has been dating for three years now. They're a really young couple. The guy doesn't know what he wants to do. The girl is over ambitious, and you know the whole, he's so when the guy's uh, parents come to know, they're really heartbroken. You know, they they're like, why have you broken up with this girl? And she's such a nice girl. So they plot this whole one day in 24 hours. At the end of it, the couple is back. Okay. Oh, wow. The and parents this, do this. The parents Some do this. Some ninja parents. Okay. Yeah, and they're really sweet. They come from you know. They are also, if you look at them, they are people who probably uh, you would think that uh, oh, they don't understand all this Instagram and WhatsApp age of uh, relationships. But they're really cool in the way they try to make the son understand. Mm. So they sort of uh, try to make him understand that uh, you know this is why you should fight for a relationship in their own school of thought way. That the, mm. this is what we know of relationships, and this is what you should do. So it's a very old and new game. Correct. And in within twenty four hours. 
they are back and they are getting married. So it's really sweet. Wow, that that, that escalated quickly. Why is it a movie for us? I call them ninja parents for a reason. Yeah, but it's fine. I just think everybody should watch it. Like it's a really nice. It's but I don't if, understand. What if I didn't want them to end up together and I want rooting for them to break up? That is your problem. So. Well, now you told me that they get together in the end. No? Yeah. So what? Just watch it anyway. It's one of those things that you just watch. <laughs> it's a sweet film and uh, yeah. So catch it wherever. Is there some humor element also in the movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the sons very like all their personalities are very different. These are four people like just locked in a room and they are like okay now what do we do the parents think in some other way and the kids think in some other way. So it's just funny and and uh, the mother's making dosa and she's listening to her son uh, you know rant about his relationship and then she's like do you want one dosa and then he stops his story of his shit with her. Where did you watch this film? On Amazon. Cool. Yes. So that's our round of recommendations. Let's go again. I recommended the short film The Guy Next Door. I recommended Aaron's Animals, the YouTube channel. I recommended Deserted in Paris, the Instagram account. And I've recommended Muramba, the film, Marathi film. Cool. So we'll take a short break and be back with our makeout playlist. Thank you. Long, long ago, not in Bethlehem, but in a place nearby, there was a wonderful birth of a huge show. which i like to call cyrus says a show that encapsulates everything in human history from the first homo sapien to the last homo sapien uh, who's traversed the entire world and then come back to india this is a show that tells you everything about everything if you want to know avoid google come to us it's called cyrus says get new episodes every monday on the ivm podcast app or wherever you get your podcast on you get one banana water free with every podcast right i'll just check that i'll just check that Welcome back to IVM Likes. We are here uh, in the week of love, uh, which, uh, of course, Shiv Sena and Aras have a problem with. But uh, hopefully, they won't find us in our studio talking about love. So we'll we'll go on and talk about it. Valentine's Day, guys. What plans? Let's start with that first. I'm volunteering for a festival. So I'm going for that festival. I am going for that festival too. Cool. Guess what I'm doing? What sleeping? I'm going to watch a drag show. <laughs> Of course, so we should have guessed that. Yeah, one of the drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race is coming to Bombay. And <laughs> what? That's yeah. like what were the chances? Ideal Valentine's man. Really? Exactly, and I'm going with the date, so it's amazing. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. So this American uh, drag queen. Oh wow! And where Willem. where is uh, this where is this, this place called Kitty Sue in Lalit? Yes, and yeah. the Lalit. So it's, okay. it's a very upscale club where you know yes. unique acts happen. So like you know, and drag clubs are rather sparse around the world, except America and Europe and you know right. in Australia. So, so did you have to buy a ticket to this? We have this? to. Yeah, we have to okay. buy like a. Thousand rupee entry and, and okay. go for this. So it's such okay. a fun, fun uh, experience. First of all, so last time one more Alaska thunder five thousand came, and she's one of the what best. What are these names? <laughs> My God, <laughs> thunder f- Alaska yeah. thunder. F- Five thousand. Five thousand. No, from, ten thousand. From, <laughs> from the planet Lambson. So she came to Bombay. And my brain is exploding. Exactly, exactly. And I like, feel like we are discussing some science fiction here. Yeah, but my friend, <laughs> yeah. my friend touched her hand and he like then flipped. He took a photo of it and said he cried. But uh, you know, so <laughs> that that's how our Valentine's uh, goes and. Uh, But I do like to like you know uh, make certain playlists because I remember the last time I was in a relationship, I made a mix CD for for my uh, Den lover. Oh, I don't think he played ever because like you know he didn't have a slot in his laptop. So <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> that's you mentioned laptop. not what he's <laughs> like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but then like the first song on that I remember was uh, "Words Don't Come Easy." Mm. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a very old song. So, and I'm I'm really old school in terms of my make out songs. Like I'll prefer a lot of Elton John and a lot of uh, Beatles in the background. Wow, that's currently flying in the face of my thought. Where I'm just like I'm gonna recommend the top five guys in the recent times. Exactly. So there has to be different. It's called of, of thought, right? Yeah, for, for, yeah. For, but so I, I love. So the song Arkes is by who? So the song is by F R David. It's a, he's a, okay. a like nineties, eighties singer. Yes, and uh, like you know a lot of uh, like you know what is that Peter Gabriel like? Baby, I love your way. All of that. You know that? Ooh, baby, I love. That was not Peter Gabriel. Baby. It was no Big Mountain. So Big Mountain is also done this song, but Ooh. lot of. <laughs> So maybe earth. Peter's covered it. Maybe yeah. <laughs> no, Peter Gabriel could not have covered yeah. a Big Mountain song. No, no, it's Peter Hampton. Sorry. Ha. Oh. Peter, Peter Gabriel. No, I was, I was wondering. I said I would have. Peter Hampton. That's what you're in the right. Okay. Okay. So like the song, like uh, "Baby, I Love Your Way" by Peter Hampton, and uh, but I do like Arcade Fire hmm. though. Like you know, in terms of the modern musicians, hmm. they have like really good uh, alt rock feeling as well as hmm. like the really good long riffs. So you know, you can enjoy. Enjoy what? Making out. Okay. <laughs> 
what i will type in like i'm just writing down seriously. making note of the song so okay. i can listen to them okay. later okay correct, yeah. correct. or you can listen to its podcast afterwards at the whole point <laughs> <laughs> i like that silence <laughs> okay so uh, cool i uh, for me i realized i need to have a make out playlist when i heard this song on when i was watching like vampire diaries back in the day so there was this song that played by uh, this band called stateless the song is called bloodstream mm. and uh, that's when i realized i need to have this playlist mm. and the song needs to be in it mm. so i went on my soundcloud account and i made a playlist called baby making music <laughs> which you have which, shared with me before yeah yeah oh yeah channel yeah. <laughs> come on share it with us too <laughs> yeah yeah cool so i actually this playlist does not have that many songs because before this i made other playlist like yours your sex and your gasm and all of that yeah yeah so um your gasm was yeah yeah so mm-hmm. i used to listen to this quite a lot but uh, lately uh, i just have a shuffle playlist which has like all genres so like i, I just that works best yeah so i just tempos. hit shuffle and yeah. i'm like sitting in a car thinking about like someone i love and i'm like oh this metal track could work <laughs> so honestly like right now i'm not restricting myself to any genres for yeah. making out yeah. making out to metal can get like really yeah angsty extremely hardcore yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so kavita give us your five uh, so top. no i i have a combination of bands djs uh, currently actually this thing that i've i've really been listening to a lot of fkj so oh, yes. i was going to say yeah fkj is the thing you do right and that's why i asked you when we were getting into the studio whether our playlists are going to clash because that new jazzy vibes playlist that they have with yeah, yeah. fkj and masigo and tada uh, yeah exactly right and i think like all of those i think like there's amsterdam amsterdam <laughs> Oh my god i just totally took me to amsterdam like immediately <laughs> but yeah like i just love like how like groovy and easy listening and i like like how like it again like you know morning noon or night right it doesn't matter yeah, yeah. Uh, another band that i watched uh, extremely recently uh, live actually uh, was this band called secrets after sex mm. Mm. again uh, some of the most mellow and most uh, beautifully easy written uh, lyrics also i love their vocalist greg gonzales yeah. uh, so his voice is so like, yeah. it really is right and, and i love branding, like all their the branding is on point exactly, exactly the branding to, yeah it is music while having a smooth after sex <laughs> exactly <laughs> so yeah now the artist that i think everyone should totally totally check out uh, another big favorite with me bonobo oh, i think yes. you know i across all the albums but two of my favorites again recent ones black sands migration were you there at johnny walker when bonobo played you know what actually i missed that gig though i went and oh. watched bonobo live last year in bristol okay so when i had gone this. for bonobo there were like couples making out all around me yeah, and right? i was single at the gig and i w- i was actually going to cover the gig i was uh, <laughs> part of the media so we i was just standing there and all the couples making out and i'm just sitting at the stage yeah what it was <laughs> great right yeah. like i think it's one of those uh, again easy listening mm-hmm. i've you know i i really really love all the uh, boiler room sets because i love his dj sets as mm-hmm. well yeah. but i also love like the whole live band scene that he's it's nice that you know now bonobo used to be known as like this one single guy and now like they considered mm-hmm. like this big band uh, another big recommendation the xx oh i uh, love that if you like uh, i think two of their most one of my i mean two of the most uh, uh, songs i mean frequently listened songs on my playlist is crystallized an intro yeah. so yeah again i heard intros uh, version with kanye's yes. lyrics oh my god that is my so favorite so cool right yeah. yeah very very nice but uh, yeah again so another one that i have is actually this french deep house dj called fedo Okay. Uh okay. again two two great songs uh one where he's he's got a vocalist called Lice mm. and it's called Goodbye a little creepy song in the sense mm-hmm. there's one girl who's complaining about how this boy just like left her in a lurch but it's got a great beat mm. and the other just purely music is this other song called Lordly mm. again it's got this up tempo you know extremely like vibrant vibe to it and yeah I totally totally dig it hmm Priyanka you've been mm-hmm. waiting very anxiously for your list you're always me. anxious <laughs> no i am waiting oh you are waiting okay yeah even i'm waiting i'm, I'm also, also waiting you're come anxious. on let's i don't do know what this. i'm waiting for okay so i have a very commercial pop playlist mm. uh it uh, first <laughs> I'm actually scared to say it out here. Come on. But anyway, so it's Angel Eyes by Ra- oh Raghav. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Really? Oh my god! That's like nostalgic. Yeah, fully. Okay. Um, <laughs> then some sexy back by Justin Timberlake. Then uh, Shape of You. 
Ed Sheeran. Mm. Yes. It's very commercial. Yes, yes, very commercial because I don't know. I think maybe that's the kind of mood I would be in. Or maybe you may have most of clubs only. Yeah, maybe. I've never. And especially these I've like poppy uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. clubs. I've never actually, but I like to bring those songs back home and be like, this is my party. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I would like to go to this place. Yeah. And then Love Me Like You Do, which was a, I don't know, uh, this is the... Um, it grew out though like you know I, I, I used to like it the song it was a very sexy voice oh this is from Fifty Shades of Grey yeah. with what's her name uh, Ellie Golding Ellie Golding <laughs> Shravan in the house <laughs> you know you know, Ellie Golding has a song called Hanging On which is yes, much better which is better. much better, better yeah. which is yeah. much better are you better. on Burn? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like this one actually. Burn, burn. Uh, so I think this song just got popular because it featured because in this of movie. the film. Yeah, 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 yeah not yeah. otherwise. Because even Beyonce's new Crazy in Love version was very sensuous. Like you know, I should have. Dude, it's I Beyonce. would have enjoyed that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, you know what Janam was saying? Was like she went to a gig and saw all the couples making out. This yeah. happened when Mogwai came to NH7. Oh, uh, oh, I was there yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was all, again part of the media and singers and yeah, everyone. <laughs> we all separated also on that day. Yeah. And I, I had, I remember, I had a. Oh yeah, you were there. Right, right, yeah. right, right. And I had a T-shirt with like with a, with a glowing marijuana symbol. That's so amazing. So How appropriate. I just wore it. I didn't know it was glowing, going to glow. <laughs> then I realized in the night when Mogwai came, they turned all the lights off. And, and then you were glowing. I was glowing in the back. And all these young kids are making on coming to me for skins and, and jays they and stuff. They thought you were some kind of like exactly. posh peddler. Yeah. I looked like a dealer. And so then it was very awkward after that. Because the cops were also like loitering around me. So In fact, like when I watched Cigarettes After Sex Live at Weekend Only last year, you know, I was surrounded by people that were... Making out and weeping at the same time. <laughs> so this is really, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's going so on, guys? I don't. I thought I saw like girls weeping, so I thought they probably like were missing, like so you know, like some nights. So why are they making out? They're crying. No, I mean, I, a combination because okay. obviously you're just like, hey man, I'm so happy I'm here. Or oh my god, I thought, not, like, I'm so happy <laughs> that I'm so so with my boyfriend <laughs> or girlfriend. No, no, it's a combination of like many oh. things. There were either some people who were just like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm watching this artist yeah. live or whatever, and so like tears were dripping like because of that. Yeah. And then there were. Obviously, some people were probably just like, "Hey, this uh, oh, entire set music, is yeah. taking me back to many, many uh, sessions that I've probably had in my bedroom." Mm. And uh, so maybe there were tears of joy, just you know, having it's experienced that. Millennials. And then maybe there was lots of heartbreak uh, or like wow. heartbroken uh, people in in so that it's a audience. Of a lot of yeah, it was a combination of a lot of things. So I really just stood back at like the sound console and just like watched everybody. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah, another artist who I think is really sexy and most of her songs are like great for uh, making out is uh, Shakira. Mm. Okay, so uh, hips don't lie, beautiful lie, everything. So I think you know all this hips don't lie and all. I'd like to hear like in a football stadium. <laughs> no, or like you know, at a party. I mean, like or that's something party, you know, you're yeah. all, all your friends jam together. What I mean is that you know, like Shakira, like, Shakira you know, belly dance, me is become like, one. like feeling very sexy. So you know? basically, you want to put up a performance for somebody. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm getting and into. then it will lead to making, <laughs> making out. out things. Yeah. No, what I was saying guys. about uh, this whole thing about like how you know I would have probably like to listen to that song in a football stadium. You know, her Ricky Martin, NDK yeah. Iglesias, yeah. extremely hot videos, extremely hot men, women, whatever. Despacito. But after singing, I should. Just watch this while I'm watching a live like sport or something like yeah. that because they're just like these anthemish, mm. you know, little. Oh shit, guys! Yes. So uh, this is one song by the Pussycat Dolls. Though. It's commercial, but it's called Which Buttons. Yes, oh, yes, yes. 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 It's like a very stripper song. song. I have yeah. no shame in admitting that I've stripped for someone in that song, and I did a very good job. Good job, yes. Yeah, no, I wouldn't put that. Behind yes, you. so I'm, I'm yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're yes. done with a round of recommendations uh, to all our listeners. If you enjoyed this round of conversation, you can also chip in at any point. We are all on Twitter or Instagram or on Facebook. Uh, yeah, check please out. send us your recommended playlists as well. We'd yes. like to try out some. Yes, yeah. for sure. We'll we'll make out and then we'll get back to you all and tell you all <laughs> how it felt. Uh, we are we are going to open up more floodgates that way. And we are IBM Podcast on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Once again, check us out. Write to us. I'm uh, House of Narona on Twitter. Yes, it's changed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Janam Devan on Twitter. It remains the same. I'm Kavit. Rajwadi on Instagram and I am Priyanka 1091 <laughs> yes everybody is going to laugh what is this 1091 10 September 91 child because all Priyankas <laughs> were taken at that time yeah. might as well do it. wish me on 10 September 91, 91 like how yeah. people put on Instagram no, it's cute know. sorry Chalo. happy um, Valentine's Day guys I happy hope Valentine's you all Day. happy I Valentine's everybody yes have loads of love and see a lot of cat videos bye, bye. There she stands, a podcast addict. 
outside the bank, having traveled several miles to get in with other poor souls like her. The journey, though daunting for this youngling, will have some comfort because she has downloaded her favorite podcast. You can see more of her species on ivmpodcasts.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.